to protect our selves, our customers, our employees, and studio crew, everybody. Right now, though, we're going to talk about those cheat sheet silicone baking pans, and already 300 of these are gone. These were shown to me by our buying team months ago, and I was over the moon about them because so many of us are looking to cook things at one time on a sheet pan, but we don't want those things mingling. This is a great way to make sure that everything is cooked perfectly. The man that brings all this to us is Christopher Place, best known for making cooking easier through good design. Christopher, it's good to meet you, sir. Meet you. A pleasure to have you with us. It's nice to see have a face with a brand. I've known your brand now for months, have been excited about you coming. Did you invent this item or help develop it? What was the story? Yeah, help develop it. I kind of had the idea, and my business partner and I kind of developed it into what you see today. Well, it is a really brilliant item. We have it both in red and in charcoal. Tell us more about this and how it works. Yeah, so when you're cooking on a sheet pan, it's you know a flat sheet. Usually, mm -hmm. so you're really limited in how you can use it, unless you want to make like dividers with aluminium foil or have to use parchment paper. You don't have to use any of that with this. This is just a you kind of you can completely forget about buying that forever. Well, it's a built-in, it's a built-in compartment, right? Exactly. But it's one that is removable, exactly. flexible, mm -hmm. and reusable over and over again. Yeah. So, for instance, if you're cooking this meal here, the asparagus is going to cook first. So you can put this in the oven, and then when the asparagus is done, you can just take it out. That's great. You don't have to. You know, worry about taking the hot sheet pan out and trying to get the items. It's and just like so easy. in my dinner, I wanted to put the cherry tomatoes in last uh -huh. because if I let those cook the entire time in order to get my sausage done, exactly, my tomatoes would burn. Exactly. So I held those back until I was ready, got the other things par cooked, and then I could add the tomatoes and then have it all come out at once, hot yep. and ready to serve. Perfect. This is really, really a smart idea. Yeah. Now let's take a look at what you're getting here, um, Christopher. You're going to have two of the elongated rectangles. Yes. And then two of the squares. Yes. Now these are all made of silicone. Yes. This is all flexible. Yeah. Is this dishwasher safe? Completely dishwasher safe. We love that. Microwave safe, oven safe to 450. You can even put them in the freezer. Now, a thousand of these are gone now, and you heard Christopher say you can even put these in the freezer. So if you're prepping ahead, exactly. you can do that. Now we have the charcoal color, we have the red color. Charcoal is more limited. And I will tell you that once you start using something like this, you'll never put what I call a naked sheet pan in the oven again. There you go. You'll make sure that it's loaded up here. Now, here's the differentiation. You can try to do a sheet pan supper and end up with a great big mess, or you can use your cheats, you call them cheat sheets, mm -hmm. prepped cheat sheets, silicone baking trays. And because they're silicone, they're naturally nonstick. They're easy to use and even easier to clean up. Are you going to the oven? Yeah, I am. So we've done a meal prep here. And what we've done is we've taken three different types of chicken. I've got your oven door. Thank you very much. Of course. And we've cooked them three different ways. So if you're going to do a meal prep and cook one sheet of chicken, it would get pretty boring for other Right. Week. Whereas here, you can cook three different flavors. Well, I smell all, the curry. Yep. All at the same time. So and teriyaki chicken, curry, curry chicken, and, and then lemon this chicken. is lemon chicken with capers, yeah, right? Exactly. But I wouldn't want my capers in my curry, and I no. wouldn't want my teriyaki in my in my curry or what have you, yep. or uh, vice versa. So this is going to help you divide things out. Now you don't get three of the large rectangles; you get w two of two them. Two of them, and then two squares. If you want to buy more than one set, which a lot of folks are doing, then you can certainly do that and mix and match. Two thousand sets are now gone. Oh, wow. This is super exciting. That's amazing. Thank you. Now, it's also important to know that this is something that we can bake in, is that right? Yeah. So it's really easy to bake. You can cook everything from sweet to savory. And the best part is um, when you're actually cooking, you can just peel this edge off like that. So it's really easy to remove, really easy to clean. Yeah, this is really remarkable. And again, cleanup is going to be so easy. Can we coat these with a cooking spray if we want to Absolutely, do that? Absolutely, yeah. So in case we're worried about a little sticking or something? Mm -hmm. Now, take a look at a few images, then we'll go down to the end of the table here and take a look at a few more things that we've done here. But if you are maybe the parents of fussy kids and they don't like their food touching. Oh, well, yeah. yeah right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you hear that a lot, right? Yeah. So this is something that would be really, really easy for you to uh, separate things out if you don't want flavors mingling. For example, Christopher, you and I have just met, and you don't know this about me, but I really detest Brussels sprouts. Oh. <laughs> and if I were roasting Brussels sprouts for a dinner party, because clearly I wouldn't be into myself, um, I would not want those Brussels sprouts to be mingling with the other things on the on the yeah. uh, on the table, right? Or in or, or in the sheet pan. Take a look here. This is my St. Patty's Day supper. We did sausages, roasted cabbage, blistered some cherry tomatoes, and then did some beautiful gold potatoes. But down front here, you did individual pizzas. That's such yeah. a smart idea. Individual pizzas, because yeah, not everyone likes, for instance, pineapple. Actually, a lot of people hate pineapple. Mm. So here you've got two different options for say two different children in the family. 
Um, and you can also do desserts at the same time, so two different desserts if you've got really picky, a really picky family. Now, over half the quantity we brought in in charcoal is now gone. Christopher, I understand Amazing. there's more in the oven you want to grab yeah, down below? Yeah, we've got an appetizer down in the oven. Okay. Let's grab that. Can I clear some yeah, room for you? Let me That's see if I can clear some room. Go. I've got some. Go. I've got them right here. Here we are. I've made room for you, sir. Uh, I've got ooh, oh, a nice leg action there, sir. Thank you. You've been in the kitchen once or twice, I see. <laughs> now, oh, hello. Now, you sound uh, a wee bit British. I am. Are potato tots as popular in, in the UK as they are here? They should be. They should be. They should be. <laughs> well, they're very popular here in the yeah. States. So I'm sure that's why your food stylist did this. And they, I also love cheese and bacon. So yeah. that would be probably why that happened. But look, you've got artichoke dip here mm -hmm. and some pita chips. Yep. And then nachos. Yeah. So really you can, cool. Uh huh. And you can serve from these as well. So you can take this straight off the sheet pan, it, let it cool down a little bit, and you can actually serve this out on the table and have people just go straight in. That's so great. Let's update you now and tell you we started our show with 8,000 sets of these. If you want it in red, I have 2,200 uh, left. In red, you can only buy here. You all made this yep. just for us. Exclusive here. If you want the charcoal, only 1,000 to go around. A lot of folks are picking up more than one, and here's what you're getting in a set. Let's remind you if you're just tuning in. You're getting two of the rectangles and two of the squares. Now, bear in mind, these are flexible. They're silicone. Yep. So this is something that's going to stack easily. Yep. You're going to be able to stack this up and store it away, no problem. Can I use these in toaster ovens? Yeah. Yeah, they work in toaster like ovens. Like countertop well. ovens, exactly. that kind of thing. And the other thing is to, to mention is that whilst these are flexible, they've actually got a structure built in the back. So you can take food out with one hand. Without them collapsing. Without it collapsing. It's not kind of flimsy silicon. It's got a good structure to it. Well, Christopher, long before I met you, I, I saw your product. Our buyers showed it to me in a meeting and they said, what do you think of these? And I said, well, I think they're brilliant because I think so many of us are looking to divide food as we prepare it, particularly uh -huh. for doing it all at once for a family dinner. Yep. But we need a way to make sure that we can separate that because some folks don't like sauces or seasonings to commingle. Yes. This is, and I'm sure you thought of all this mm -hmm. when you developed it, is what makes this so perfect and so useful in our kitchen. Now, mm -hmm. we began our show, Christopher, with 8,000. If you want the red, I have 1,800 left. And remember, red was made just for QVC because you all, someone told you, well, you love red, yes. right? And then if you want the charcoal, 400 left in the charcoal. Charcoal will sell out, and we may see the red go right behind it. Get yours now on six easy payments, and it's K50172. We'll invite everyone to stay on the line. Um, Chris, do you go by Chris or Christopher? Usually Chris. Well, I, I, th I think that's better. Yeah. It's more friendly, isn't it? Yeah. All right, Chris, it's great to meet you, buddy. Lovely to meet you, too. Nice to have you here. You Please tell everyone at your company to make